सो हेलो गाइस वेलकम टू द स्किल्स फ्रीजन और आज हम लोग करने जा रहे हैं एक कौन नया मिशन इन हॉगवर्ड्स लेगेसी में तो लास्ट टाइम मैंने एक बुक निकाली थी एक्सट्रिक्टेड एरिया से लाइब्रेरी के वहां पे हमने बहुत कुछ देखा एंड एक नया स्पेल पे सीखा एंड विजिबल होने का एंड फाइट भी किया हम लोगों ने लाइब्रेरी के नीचे फाइट कौन करता है इतना बड़ा थहकाना पी है भाई दानी भाई उसी के ऊपर लाइब्रेरी बनी हुई है फिर गलती से गया तो वहाँ पे तो उसकी बैट बच जाएगी खैर तो यही है पता हम चला और उस बुक में कुछ मेमोरी थी हम जिन्होंने चार विजर्ट्स ने जिन्होंने ये पूरा हॉकोट्स बनाया था वो लोग थे वहाँ पे एक फिफ्थ ईयर के बारे में वहाँ चला जिसके बारे में हमें आगे वहाँ चलेगा एंड जो स्टार्टिंग में हमारे साथ आया था एक बंदा वो जिसको ड्रैगन ने खा लिया उसके लिए हमारे प्रोफेसर फेक जा रहे हैं लंदन में वहाँ पे इनसे पूछता छो और अब देखते हैं आगे क्या होगा गाइस सो कीप वाचिंग डोंट फॉरगेट टू लाइक एंड सब्सक्राइब लेट्स गो एक नया स्पेल सीखने को मिल रहा है वो सीखते हैं पहले ऑफिस के यहाँ पे लड़ने जाएंगे ठीक है ओके okay, तो ये तो डमी के साथ ही होगा ना ये सारा तो You can't imagine how inconvenient travel was before. Nick, let me just cap. Sorry, hi. मैं फॉर्मल रहना चाहता हूँ लोग फॉर्मल रहने नहीं दे रहे मतलब यूनिफॉर्म में
कैप कुछ उसमें भी पहना भी है फालतू का मैं नहीं लेता चलो बात ही नहीं कर रहा इंसेंडियो ओ ये भी सब Incendio. Revelio. Future champion coming through. Hello, Lucan. Is the final round of cross bonds ready? Big match today. It <coughs> all comes down to this: the moment that we find out if your training and dedication is enough to win it all. Ready for a shot at glory? I certainly am. Brilliant. Are you dealing with a partner? Let's go for Sebastian. This yes, step. Sebastian. Then let's get started. We can make this a real victory. That's the spirit. Sab ko jaane wala hu aaj main. Okay, target lock. Okay. Incendio. Akio. Incendio. Bringo. Out of you that round, 
Good to try again. Yes, I'm ready now. Very well. Good luck out there. तो मुझ पे मार रहा था ना उसको ना मार के किसी और को मार रहा था तो वो नहीं हो गया think so not right now understandable but don't take too long we'll be waiting hey, the items swiggly clip hey if i can just stop vanishing my boots when practicing evanesc how do you do i think i can get an eye on my transfiguration owls here hello lucan i'd like to practice with the training <coughs> dummy excellent idea this time will be a bit more of a challenge ready That would be brilliant. Wonderful. I'll set things up. Remember to cast all the spell combinations before the dummy lands again. If you need to stop practicing before you finish all of them, let me know. Akio, incendio. Let me know. Achieve. Good one. I take to face you in a duel. Thanks, Lucan. You've been a great help. Oh, stop. Don't make me blush. Seriously, well done. Training dummies will think twice before challenging you again. Plus, you'll be even more formidable in crossed ones. Other duels had better beware. Hello Lucan. Is the final round of cross ones ready? Look who's back. Ready to redeem yourself? I certainly am. Brilliant. Are you dealing with a partner? Yes, the best Natty. Then let's get started. We can make this a real victory. That's the spirit.
I'm ready now. Very well. Good luck out there. Mostly luck, that's all. <coughs> Please, you wouldn't have got this far on luck alone. Now, to the victor goes the prize! And so it is my great honour to present you with this simple yet elegant token of supreme dueling accomplishment. Thank you. It's been an honour. You earned it. You are a duelist to be reckoned with. Now that we've definitively crowned the tournament winner, I suppose I should get back to my schoolwork. Wonder how my herbology plants are doing. I haven't tended them in ages. स्पेल्स नहीं है मेरे पास मुझे स्पेल स्पेल कह रहा हूँ पोर्शंस नहीं है पोर्शन ले लेने चाहिए ऑक्स मीट हेयर आई कम
Hello there. Rebellion. In the market for potions, are we? What can I do for you today? A wise decision. Thank you. It would appear that you don't have enough for that. Very good. Never hurts to keep my stocks replenished. A wise decision. Thank you. I hope to see you again. Farewell for now. Next quest, what is it? Don't forget to like and subscribe. What are you up to now? Able to take care of everything I had asked you to do. Yes, ma'am. Professor, I completed all of your most recent assignments. Well done. Then you're ready to learn <coughs> Expelliarmus. Pay close attention. The disarming charm may often be all you need to defeat the most powerful dark witches and wizards you might encounter. Spellcasting requires a focused mind and a steady wand. work. The dummy is here if you wish to stay in practice.
Professor, do you have a moment? I do. What is it? I wondered, did you attend Hogwarts? I did. I am a proud member of Ravenclaw House. Why do you ask? I was curious as to how Hogwarts has changed over the years. I see. Well, the castle itself, as I'm sure you have surmised, is full of surprises. I dare say more than the staircases change around here. As for the students, well... They seem to get more capable every year. Although, we got up to just as much mischief in my day as you seem to now. I used to look the other way at all sorts of roguery when I was head girl. I can tell you, however, that I did once admonish a certain Phineas Nigella's flag for enjoying a sugar quill during a lecture. Uh, I, I hadn't realized that you and Professor Black were, uh, students here together. <laughs> Appearances can be deceiving. You see, I was once wounded by time itself. Time itself? I never would have imagined such a thing. Ah, well, it was the risk I took with my prior position. You may or may not have heard that I was an unspeakable at the Ministry for years. An unspeakable? What does... Uh as you might suspect, I cannot speak about what we did. Suffice it to say, the job was not without its hazards. Now, I hope I've satisfied your curiosity for the moment. You have. Thank you for speaking with me, Professor. Keep up with your wand work. One must always be prepared for mischief, both inside and outside of the castle. Levioso, Accio, Expelliarmus. You seem to have the right end of the stick, but keep practicing. Expelliarmus may save your life one day. Still at it, I see. Incendio. Levioso. Expelliarmus. Incendio. Class will be here. Class will be here. Let's go to the house. I'd better keep an eye on high places around the school for Zenobia's gobstones. Revelio. Revelio Incendio. 
Instantly. Rebellion. Rebellion. Good morning, Professor Garlic. How wonderful it is to see you again, Lenora, dear. Oh, here. You'll need these for today's class. Uh, um, uh, A little treat for your auntie. Ah, oh, hello. Class, please welcome the newest rose in our garden. We do look forward to growing together. is to have everyone back together again. This year will be filled with enchantment and excitement, but the most important thing cultivated in herbology is knowledge. The prudent herbologist is no more afraid of the venomous tentacular than the bouncing bowl. Now then, today we will be acquainting ourselves with the mellifluous tuber known as the mandrake root. Accio. Let's see if we can't make our fibrous friends a bit more comfortable, shall we? <laughs> First, let's protect our ears. <laughs> now, everyone, grip their mandrake by the tendrils and give it a firm tug. should envelop the root like a warm, dirty blanket, putting the mandrake right at ease. Repera! I'm very sorry about that. Yours was a bit mature, I'm afraid. All right then, off you go. Splendid work, everyone. Now, for our next task, we'll be planting dittany at our potting tables. You can all get started. I, hmm. I wonder if hippogriffs like mock grass. The best time to plant a seed is last season. The second best time... Revelio. Yes, Professor? Firstly, well done with your mandrake. They can be rather difficult to get a grasp of. I'll say. Nearly went deaf. Well, yes. Of course, the cry of a mature mandragora can be fatal, so remember to keep those ears protected. Now, as I mentioned, next we'll be planting dittany. Let us find you some seeds. I already have some, Professor. Pick them up in Hogsmeade. <laughs> 
You visited the Magic Neep. Wonderful! A prepared student is bound to bloom. I've arranged for you to have your own potting table here in the classroom. Wasn't easy to spare one on such late notice. Plant the seeds there now, and you can return to harvest them later. Even with soil, sunlight, and a bit of magic, they will take time to grow. Let's see how to balance my star thistle. Pardon me, Professor. What am I supposed to do with the Disney seeds? Your part in all this floral alchemy is simple. Take the seeds to your potting table, plant them, and then wait for harvest time. Revelio. Ditany's restorative properties make it a vital ingredient in the Wiganwell potion, as you all should know from Professor Sharp's class. Well done! Once it can be harvested, your Ditany will be ready to use in Wiganwell potion. I'll let Professor Sharp tell you about that. Now, what say we branch out? Introduce you to a different sort of flora, the Chinese chomping cabbage. You'll find that some plants are better suited to uses outside of a cauldron. The cabbages do get testy without something to chew. Fortunately, I have a dummy for them to gnaw on. Dear, dear, and let them have a good chomping. Yes, Professor. They're in the other greenhouse. It's just at the end of the footbridge leading out of this room. Your classmate, Mr. Pruitt, has kindly offered to accompany you. Come back and see me when you're finished. Oh, and mind your fingers. They do bite. Hello. Saw you on your way to Hogsmeade the other day. Nice to meet you. I'm Leander. I'll be showing you the Chinese chomping cabbages. Up these stairs will take us there, but your lead. Nice work in defense against the dark arts, by the way. Excuse me? Your duel with Sebastian. And he's good. <laughs> Thinks he's really good. But you outright slaughtered him. It was brilliant. Oh, well. Thank you. Here we are, home of the Chinese chomping cabbage. Go on, grab a few of those cabbages. Now, see that dummy? Just toss the cabbages at it, and they'll do the rest. Look at that! They'll chomp on anything they can get their mouths on. <laughs> Mum planted some in her garden last year to keep the gnomes out. Did save her the denoming, but they left her honking daffodils in tatters. <coughs> Vicious little bastards, aren't they? My kind of plants. Not like stupid booba tubers and bouncing bulbs. The kind of plants that just have your back in a fight. Uh, not saying you can't go it alone, but well, imagine that wasn't a dummy. I suppose they could prove useful outside of the greenhouse. Nothing wrong with a bit of backup, even if it is from a cabbage. It's chaos out there. Trolls in Hogsmeade and such. You can't be above throwing a cruciferous vegetable if necessary. Dogweed and Deathcap has more of them, if you're keen. Other plants too. Ones your parents wouldn't plant in the garden. You get the idea. Anyway, we uh, probably ought to head back to class. Take your time. I'll see you back in class. Is that 
helpful reminder as to why we should always wear our dragon hide gloves, I shall end our lesson here. Terribly sorry, Mr. Clopton. I tended to the Chinese chomping cabbages, Professor. Remarkable plants, aren't they? I hope they weren't too much trouble. Oh, don't see any bite marks or missing digits. And good, as you do seem to be quite green-fingered. Oh, I'm eager to see your skill in the soil continue to blossom. Magical plants have so much to offer. I'm eager to learn more. I'm glad. Herbology is a bounteous subject. Tend to your garden, and it will tend to you. Huh. Well, I suppose that's everything. Do come by for a chat sometime. I so enjoy checking in with my new students. Revelio. Only cost me my damned hair. To make anything grow, we must first understand it. That goes for plants as well as friendships. Kindness and concern are as necessary in the greenhouse as in the Great Hall. Did you know that you can use the Mandrake to defend yourself? Why, the very idea. Revelio. There be auras or someone from the Ministry guarding the school after the incident in Hogsmeade. Professor Black would never allow that. It would make him look completely incompetent, which he is. I bet he knows more than he's letting on about the Goblin Rebellion. Potions is one of the most challenging and hazardous subjects taught at this school. As fifth years, you will be required to reach new heights of both discipline and intellect. You will begin this term by brewing a Wigan Weld Potion. Mr. Takar, can you tell us why this particular potion might come in handy? Yes, Professor Sharp. The Wigan Weld Potion can be used to sterilize and even heal a variety of injuries. It can heal some injuries, but not all. Points for Ravenclaw. Before today's class is completed, each of you will have brewed a Wigan Weld Potion of your own. You never know when you might need it. Please begin. Use a strong, even motion when crushing your ingredients. Please be meticulous when adding powder to your potions. One errant sneeze could be disastrous.
I see most of you have not forgotten how to stir. Hmm. Not an easy potion to brew. Well done. And from what I hear of your recent exploits in Hogsmeade, you'd also do well to practice brewing the defensive Edurus potion. Professor Weasley had you acquire the recipe from Jay Pippins, correct? Yes, sir. Good. For the moment, you can find the ingredients you need in my office. But in the future, you'll be expected to provide your own ingredients. Some can be harvested from the plants you grow in your herbology class, and rarer ones can be purchased. Others, however, may be harder to obtain, and will require you to be a bit more... resourceful. Come and see me when you've finished brewing, and we'll see if it was skill or luck the first time round. Professor Sharp said that Wiganweld Potion can treat injuries. My parents considered keeping me home from school this year after the rumors of a goblin. Fine job brewing your first Wiganweld Potion. But there are many potions yet to learn. This is... Did I hear Professor Sharp say that you have permission to go into his office? Yes, but why does that matter to you? Brilliant! And it matters because you can be a part of something truly creative. You remember me, don't you? Gareth Weasley. Ah, yes. We met in the common room. Listen, anyone with a troll-sized brain can brew an Adurus potion. I'm working on something that's certain to be spectacular. I'm just missing one tiny last ingredient that will add that extra spark. I suspect that's where I come in. You're as clever as I'd hoped. I simply need a single Throoper Feather, as you'll already be in Sharp's office with his permission. Perhaps you could grab it for me. I don't know, Gareth. I don't want to get on Sharp's bad side. You won't. Throoper Feathers aren't that valuable. Sharp won't even miss it. I've enough to worry about collecting the ingredients he wants me to get. I'm afraid I can't help you. I understand. I'll sort something else out. Protego! Can you remind me what you needed again? I was hoping you could get me a Fupa feather from Sharp's office. It's the last ingredient I need to complete my potion. Clearly. Your potion should not be that. Revelio! on hand. Should you chop the Ditney or crush it? The wrong answer could result in the unfortunate... My Wiganwell potion is utter rubbish. Wish I could just replace it with one from J. Pippin. Professor, what should I be doing again? You should have collected the ingredients from my office and begun brewing a potion at your cauldron. Finish your potion and then return to me. Gareth. Hello again. Here's the Fupa feather you wanted. Knew you'd come around. Brilliant! Thank you! This is going to take a moment to brew. You should get back to brewing your Endurus potion, and I'll tell you when this concoction's finished. I hope we can get more And now we add the mallow sweet, and that's odd. What's happening? Wait, it's not supposed to. Ah! Get it! Get it! Oh! Oh! Dragon! 
it off. What happened? <laughs> well done, Garen. What now, Mr. Weasley? Sorry, Professor. That'll be points from Gryffindor, again. Mr. Weasley did not do this on his own. His accomplice will answer to me as well. Professor Sharp must have learned a lot during his time as an Auror. I brewed an Azura's <coughs> potion as you asked, Professor. I'm surprised you had the time. You seemed rather busy helping Mr. Weasley brew chaos. I'm not sure what you're talking about, Professor. You will not earn favor with me by failing to take responsibility for your actions. I suggest you heed my warning. As for the work you did today at your own cauldron, I will say you've done well. I confess I was skeptical given the advanced nature of this class and the fact you're a new student. I'm glad I was able to meet your expectations. A rare occurrence. And you do well to remember that you're not a potions master quite yet. In addition to having a solid grasp of how to combine various ingredients, you should gain an understanding of the ingredients themselves. Pay particular attention in herbology. The plants you nurture there are often essential to the potions you brew here. Now, I recommend that you find a safe location in which to practice brewing. You cannot leave a hot cauldron simply anywhere. That'll be all. I think each of us has had enough excitement for one day. Rebellion. That was an interesting class. Thanks to you. Wasn't precisely what I had in mind, but it was still brilliant. I appreciate your help. I hope Sharp wasn't too disagreeable when you handed in your potion. I heard him talking about taking responsibility. Professor Sharp was annoyed, but we sorted it out. No harm. Cheers to that. He probably had a good chuckle after we left. Sharp may seem gruff, but I'd bet a few galleons he blew up a potion or two in his day. Best be off. Next time we talk, I promise. Fewer explosions. Oh, my robes are going to reek from Garrus' inspiration for the rest of term. So I guess... Uh... I guess I'm going to ask you to save the menu. Thanks for watching this video. 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 Don't forget to like and subscribe. And we'll see you in the next episode of Hogwarts Legacy. Take care. Peace out. करना जरूरी होता है दोस्तों